Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this video is finding you. Welcome to Barely Grace. My name is Grace and I started this YouTube channel along with a Facebook group of the same name to promote self-care. Um, I do focus my videos primarily on skincare, hair care, and makeup, but I may from time to time talk about other things as well and how they relate back to self-care. So if this is something that interests you and you have not already, I encourage you to like and subscribe. Uh, please share it with your friends and family members and join us on Facebook uh, because we do have a lot of fun there in our group. Uh, we have daily activities and lots of fun posts and, and memes relating to self-care and, and all that. Uh, so it's lots of fun. Uh, welcome. I'm so glad uh, you are joining me. Here is my coffee cup uh, for this morning. It says Unicorns Love Coffee. It even has a little uh, unicorn on the inside. My very dear friend uh, Mandy sent this to me uh, last year for my birthday. Mm. Does it say something on the... Oh, no, it's just the brand name on the bottom. I was like, oh, does it say something down there? Hidden treasure. <laughs> uh, so that's my coffee cup, and I have already started drinking water. I need to go and fill this up. This is my new Adidas cup. I love this cup. Don't get me wrong. I love the Starbucks cup that I have, um, and I think I'm going to start using that like more as a travel coffee cup. Um because I generally will take coffee and water with me if I do leave the house, which is not that often, because as I've said before, I, I'm, I'm pretty much a hermit. I don't like to leave the house, uh, but I do, uh, you know, if I have appointments or if I need to run errands or something like that, so. Um, but yeah, again, welcome. Um, today's video, Today's video is an empties video. My little empties thing is like full and overflowing and stuff sitting beside it again. So I think I'm going to have to get like a bigger box. But then if it's a bigger box and there's more items in it, like I'm going to have to, because I talk a lot. Like I, I talk a lot. <clears throat> so uh, I guess what I will do is probably get a bigger box but I have an empties video this is actually my third empties video and this channel's been up like a month um, but I have some fun things to talk about and I guess I didn't really notice it before um, you know because before when I would get done with a product I would either hold on to the packaging because I'm crazy like that and like if it's a cute little tub or something I'm probably gonna keep it so I would either hold on to the packaging or I would just go ahead and like recycle it right away uh, when I was done with it or throw it away if it wasn't recyclable. Uh, but now that I'm like collecting them to do videos, maybe I'm just like noticing it more. I don't think I'm using anything anymore. I think it's just since I'm holding on to it to talk about it. Uh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, this, this was really nice. Uh, this is the OGX beauty pure and simple this is their sensitive and rose water and pink salt uh, scrub and wash this was very nice um, as you can see we definitely used all of it um, the only thing that's in there is just the water where I, where I would rinse it out uh, when it was done but it uh, is wonderful it has a beautiful rose scent. It had really nice, uh, the little beads uh, for scrubbing. It was very nice. It says here, gently cleanse your skin with this restorative blend infused with calming rose water, rose quartz, and pink sea salt. Soften skin and lightly exfoliate while providing lightweight hydration. Yes, yes, I love that for us. Uh, rose water is an absolute wonderful skincare ingredient. Um, sea salt is very nice as well. Uh, this was just an all-around wonderful scrub. Um, it on it talks about like relaxation uh, and how your skin will be soft and supple. Absolutely wonderful. I would pick this up again. Um, I actually got and I showed it in a video. Uh, the other day in an unboxing video but I got a shea butter it's the same brand but it's in shea butter and it smells like uh, vanilla cupcakes so um, I would I would definitely recommend this and I'll pick it up again in the future um, I just don't need to replace it right now all right so there's that 
along with um, skincare. We will talk about this. Um, I actually combined, there was a little bit left in here. Um, and then I have a big bottle um, that's like halfway. And so I just combined this into the bigger bottle because they're the, the same brand, the same lotion, just different bottles. Uh, but this is the Queen Helen, I think I've talked about this before, the Queen Helen Cocoa Butter. It's hand and body lotion, soothes and softens hands, face and body. Uh, I'm, cocoa Butter is a wonderful skincare ingredient. Um, you can also use cocoa butter in your hair. Um, which I've done before and I've also done for my middle um, so you can also do that um, it is replenishing lightweight lotion blends rich natural cocoa butter and pure lanolin to quench and relieve moisture starved skin protects overexposed skin um, conditions itchy stretched skin and helps diminish the appearance of wrinkles um, I've always used cocoa butter um, especially like it after a sunburn so of course I'm gonna go in with like aloe primarily right um, but then to make sure that my skin uh, kind of pops back to where it should be uh, after like a sunburn or uh, you know something like that I use cocoa butter um, I did use cocoa butter while I was pregnant with both kids um, as a teen I used cocoa butter in my chest area because I had very dark dark like purple and blue stretch marks uh, on my chest when I was a teenager so I used cocoa butter then um, I've always been a huge fan and this is a great brand and I'm sure this is familiar I'm sure this is something that you've all seen if you've ever wondered about it or wanted to try it uh, I highly suggest cocoa mm -hmm. butter you can also put it on like um, scars or like if sur like after surgery if you have something that's healing um, then you can put the cocoa butter on it and it's wonderful okay um this is also a little skincare. Uh, I don't even know because it's a clear bottle. I don't even know if it's going to really pick up. Um, but this is a rose water collagen ultra refreshing facial mist. Um, this is from a company called Claire Beauty. I've never really um, heard of them, but I picked this up at uh, Ross um, a while back. And, you know, I'm. I'm a sucker for rose. Um, it is a wonderful, it's like my favorite scent. And then it is a wonderful skincare ingredient. So it's like, you know, if it's rose, I'm probably going to get it because it's wonderful and it nourishes my skin. I have very dry skin. So the rose is uh, very nice and nurturing uh, on the skin. And I love the scent. Um, and this had collagen in it. Collagen, you know, I, I definitely need that. I actually started taking collagen recently. Um, but yeah, as a skincare ingredient, collagen is great. So I enjoyed this little spray. Um, I guess I wanted to talk more about the fact that it's a spray and what the ingredients are, the rose and the collagen, which made a wonderful, uh, spray rather than really talk about the company because I've never heard of them and I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere again, but it was wonderful. I encourage you, like if you have places like Ross, Marshalls and TJ Maxx that you um, go go and look and through their skincare and their makeup because sometimes you can really find some hidden treasures so I would definitely encourage that uh, another big product that I have here that wouldn't really fit in my box it's another dry shampoo um, I think this is like the second or third empties um, that I've had of dry shampoo and I've talked a lot about dry shampoo I've even done a dry shampoo tutorial um, so if if dry shampoo is something that you're interested in this one was a great one I love the smell of this this is the beach babe texturizing dry shampoo in toasted coconut toasted coconut um, it says instantly absorbs oil while creating effortless sea tossed texture. Um, this, like I said, it was a great, um, like texturizing. Like I would put this in my hair if I was going to like, sometimes I do these little galaxy buns. Um, so I would do that. Um, or if I'm going to be like putting it back or something, or if I'm going to like, sometimes I will put like bobby pins in it, um, to make a style. So, a texturizing dry shampoo is great for that because it gives your hair that texture that like you can grip and so it's good uh, for like updos um, so yeah 
the texturizing dry shampoos and the volumizing dry shampoos are my favorite. Those are the ones that I generally gravitate towards. And I loved this one um, from Not Your Mother's. So I would definitely recommend it. I will repurchase it again. I don't need one right now, um, but I would definitely repurchase one. Again, this is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. Okay, moving right along now. All the things will fit in the box. I don't have any anything sitting beside it. Yes, I dropped my empty there. Okay, so I did the reveal of this, um, or the unboxing, I guess you could say. I did the unboxing on this, um, and then I'm going to do like a full review of all the products. Um, but I do have this in my empties basket, so I'll talk about it. Um, this is from Pacifica, wonderful company, probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite skincare companies. Um, absolutely love it. This is the Rose and Peptide Facial Mask, Hydration and Dreamy Youth is yours, plus flowers, peptides, and rose hips. Uh, of course, with everything Pacifica, it is cruelty free and vegan. Um, this was a wonderful mask. Um, Pacifica is an Oregon company, and most of their products are made in Oregon, but this is a Korean sheet mask. It was made in Korea. Um, so, yeah, I can't say enough wonderful things about Pacifica, and I loved this. The rose was very nice. Um, I actually did this on camera, so I not only did I do a unboxing, but I did a first impressions of it as well. Um, and then, like I said, I will also do a um, review on the entire line because I bought it as a set. So there's that. That was wonderful. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, I also recently talked about this in um, a, a haul because we had gotten it in from Amazon. Um, but this one is a previous one. It is empty. Uh, there's a little bit in there, and then um, we wash these tins and save them. Um, so this is the Mountaineer brand Magic Beard Balm. This is my husband's beard balm. Um, it is the best smell. It's so great. It's a citrus spice or spiced citrus. It says um, WV Citrus and Spice. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. It makes my husband's beard very soft. And it is, uh, it smells wonderful. It makes it smell really good. Um, so yeah, I I would highly recommend this Mountaineer brand uh, beard balm for anyone with a beard. Wonderful. Okay, um, I have this. This is a Tony Moly uh, serum. This is the watermelon. Um, do all over serum so the watermelon do all over serum it is 50% watermelon fruit extract uh, again it is from Tony Tony Moly they are a Korean company this is made in Korea but yeah this is wonderful I actually got I think two of these because this is the one that's empty I've got pretty much all I can get out of it um, yeah, there's just, I'm squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and nothing's coming. Um, but yeah, this was a wonderful product. Um, I have a little bit of this um, in another container. I'm actually like getting some out as we're talking. Um, but I have another packaging of this. Um, so yeah, I would repurchase this and I would definitely recommend it. I do like uh, Tony Moly uh, products and this was a very nice one. I'm going to put that on top of what I've got. It smells wonderful. It smells like watermelon. And uh, it has a very nice, um, it's like a jelly uh, consistency. It's very nice. It feels good on the skin. So, love that. That is wonderful. Another serum that I have, and I'm really sad to see this one go. Um, I'm hoping that they'll have it again next year. Um, but this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Fantasy Makers line. It's very hard to see because the bottle's clear. FM Fantasy Makers. This is the Pumpkin Seed Extract and Vitamin C Serum. Uh, primer based serum. Or I'm sorry, primer serum. Um, or, you know, you can use it as either one. Uh, extract. 
yeah, pumpkin seed extract is what it has. So, yeah, there's not like a name to it, I don't guess. Oh, it's called Plumpkin. I think that's the first time I've realized that because I, I love that. I would have taught, I would have known and remembered and talked about that. Uh, but this is called the Plumpkin. Let me see if we can. There we go. Plumpkin. I do like Wet n Wild. Um, the, their products are very hit or miss. Uh, it is vegan and cruelty free. It has a wonderful scent. It smells, it smells like pumpkins and oranges, like together. Uh, not like a pumpkin spice, like but like just just pumpkin and uh, citrus. It's very nice. I love it. I do like pumpkin in in skincare. I have several skincare ingredients that have pumpkin in it. Um, I like pumpkins. Uh, this was out in, in the fall. Like, right, like, before Halloween. It was definitely before Halloween. But you know how they put things out. So, I mean, it could have been Halloween stuff, and they just put it out in September. Um, but um, this was great. And if I ever see this again, I will get it. It's not, like, it's not a standalone serum. It's definitely a serum that you would want to use um, in coordinates with another one. So, like, what I would generally do is go in with, like, a hyaluronic acid um, serum. And then once that kind of seeps in and sets, I would put this on um, as a serum. And then uh, after that sets, I would follow up with a lotion, a, a moisturizer. So, yeah. Uh, love that. And I've kind of debated over whether or not I'm going to keep the bottle. Uh, but, yeah. Love that. Super cute. Is a glass bottle with a dropper. Um, I found a... <laughs> I found this balm and it had just a very small amount in it um, so I used that this is the Burt's Bees coconut and pear um, outside of the original OG the coconut and pear is probably my favorite as you can see there is nothing in there there's nothing in there um, so yeah just uh, just a lip balm. I love these. I always have hundreds and hundreds of lip balms on hand. Um, so, yeah. Okay. This is a, it was like a sample, like a, you know, it's just like a little bag. So, it's like a one use. Um, and I imagine that I probably got this from Ipsy. I don't necessarily, like, remember it. Um, but I'm sure that I got it from Ipsy. Uh, this is the Serum Collagen Anti-Aging Primer. This is from IT Cosmetics. Uh, let's see. IT Cosmetics. There we go. So, yeah. We have that. Uh, oh, I'm going to grab something else. One moment. Okay. I do apologize. Where was I? Okay, I just talked about the IT uh, Cosmetics. And... This is the Bath and Bath and Body Works Sunshine and Lemons. Um, this is the hand sanitizer. Um, I love these little pots uh, of hand sanitizer from Bath and, Bath and Body Works. Um, and this scent was very nice, sunshine and lemons. There's a little bit of it left in there. Uh, so I will just set that to the side and um, I will be using that later. And then the last thing I have in here um, is a, is a, like a leave-in conditioner and conditioning treatment. This is from Mark Anthony. Uh, true professional this is a nourishing or nourishing argan oil of morocco it's 100 percent argan oil protects color deep hydrating conditioning treatment um so yeah this is uh, a very nice product i did get this in an ipsy um but i have seen this at like walgreens um they have it at um Ulta, um, places like that. So, yeah, this was wonderful. Again, this is Mark Anthony. I've had a couple of the Mark Anthony leave-in conditioners, um, and this one was probably you know, my favorite, the Argan Oil. So, yes, this was wonderful. And it will tell you, oh, yeah, 
<laughs> There's a little label. It's like you can find it at Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Ulta. Um, I don't have a Rite Aid. We we did used to have Rite Aids like in the area, but they're all gone. So I don't know if it's just if that's how old. I don't think this was that old though, because um, it has like 18 months from opening. But like I haven't. I don't know. And I know I had it for a while before I tried it. So, I don't know when this is from. But if you have a Rite Aid, they have them there. Um, otherwise, Walgreens and Ulta. Um, but, yeah. Love that. Where is this company out of? I'm looking. Canada. So, Mark, Mark Anthony uh, is a Canadian company. Mark, Mark Anthony Tree Professional. Um so yeah, that was a really great leave-in treatment. I'm pretty sure my oldest used this as well. They have long hair, and I'm pretty sure that my oldest uh, used that also. So yeah. All right, so that's all the empties that I have. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and just kind of letting me talk about the products that I have used, uh, that I, you know, whether I loved it or, you know, just kind of held on to it until it got used up. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, all of these products today, I would 100% recommend. Um, if you know anybody with a beard, anybody, if you're, you know, dad, brother, cousin, friend, whatever, uh, anyone with a beard, please get them this beard balm because it is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. They will thank you. All right. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have some coffee and start my work day. Um, I'm going to make sure that I keep drinking my water. Uh, definitely do something today uh, that gives back to you uh, because you deserve it and you're important.